Yo, forgot my garage door opener. There we go. Fun fact, the garage door opener is also garage door closer. Woo! What's up? What the floof is up, people? V-Duck, day 15, holy schmagoo. What the hell is going on? We got the AC on, that makes no sense. It's freezing cold. Oh, shoot. Woo! What's up guys, back in the F-150 today, headed to the gym. In case you were wondering, I did not skip yesterday's workout, I just didn't put it in the video. Had a busy day yesterday, sort of made for a shoddy video, so if you watched that video, I apologize, man. I'm gonna try to do better today for you guys. It's freezing, back in the truck, headed to the gym. No defeat, no surrender. We're going for day number eight. It feels good. I'm gonna go knock out this workout, and then we're gonna get the rest of this day started. It's freezing cold, but the sun is out, and the wind is not hammering as bad as it could be, so we might be able to get some fishing in, but who knows? We will see what happens with the rest of this day. I hope everybody is having an awesome day wherever you are watching this. Let's get out there and let's kill it. Let's crush it again today. Whew. We did it, we did it man. Workout complete, just crushed that. Last few sets were getting tough. Last quarter mile on the treadmill was a killer, but I got it done. And the rest of this day is gonna be all gravy from here on out, man. I feel so much better. I'll be honest with you guys, this was the second day in a row that when I woke up, I was like, man, I would love to just lay here. And then it hit me. Yesterday, you told yourself you were gonna make tomorrow day eight. Now, is that gonna be a lie or is that gonna be the truth? One thing I won't be is a liar. Honesty, truth, day eight in the books, man. I feel so much better having got that behind me. And now I'm just gonna go to the house get cleaned up and spend the rest of the day with you guys. All right, man, let's get it, guys. I'm headed to the house. I'll see you back there. Somebody got locked outside. Is this what she does to you when I'm gone? Poor boys. Back at the house now, feeling great. Day eight workout crushed in the books. It feels good to get that done. Hey, dude, they're playing with that weight again. Dang. The weather outside, the weather outside is frightful, but the fire is so delightful. No, um, no, but the weather is finally turned sunny. The winds died down. We're gonna let the wind die down. It's like 53 degrees, wind out of the west thinking we might be able to get a little action down there at the water. So, you know what time it is. It's time to go fishing. I'm gonna hop on the golf cart, head down to the water. I'll see you guys down there on the GoPro, see if we can catch us a fish. Let's go. All right, we back down here at the water. See if we can get us a fish. Oh yeah, this Kytex totally beat up. I need to replace it. It's a little windy out here right now, so I'm gonna apologize for the wind noise. I'll do my best to eliminate as much of that as possible during the editing process. I need a 3.8 Kytec fast swim. Where you at, yo? There, I only got one left. Boom. Good as new juice right there. All right, so started over here because the wind's blowing up into this cove. And a lot of times that can help you figure out where the fish are. So yeah, a couple days ago came down here and just wore them out one after the other on the swim jig. They were eating. Seriously doubt it'll be like that again today, but you never know if you don't try. So I'm down here. See if we can catch this one. We may have to do a little bit of moving around. I see some bait fish in the water, so that's a good sign. Come on out of there. There we go. I don't want to beat up my Kytec right off the bat. Let's move. The wind is just horrible over here. Probably gonna have to find a new spot to fish. All right, time to move. Nothing over here. Sometimes when the bite's tough, I can work one off the off the end of some of this cover right here. Oh yeah, I hear him hitting up there in the shallows now too. That's good. Yeah, right there. There's a fish right here in front of me eating. Let's get him. You. Did you see him? Oh my god, I missed him. I didn't get a good hook set because of my weird arm position, but he hammered it. Come on, come get that. He might not get it again. He's right there. I can't believe I missed that fish. I didn't, my hook set was all funky. 
straight up i just missed him that gives me hope they're up here eating you can't win them all man you're gonna miss fish that's just part of the game number one baby we did it I knew they were up here eating Ooh, he's biting my thumb well oh, that's a big fish that's a big fish right there that's a different sound that one made a different sound right there Alright, this is the spot that I was at in the last video where we caught those seven in a row. Water's a little cloudy over here. There's fish all over here though. I see bait fish everywhere. That's good. Yeah, so that video that was from my Instagram story, I was just standing right here, throwing up into the shallow water, probably a foot and a half or less with this swim jig. And I mean right up into inches, like right there and then just dragging it out. And then I get hammered about right here. Boom, they were up there shallow, just eating one after the other. And I caught seven before I decided to go home. It was awesome. I really wish I had this camera on while that was happening. Cause it was just, psh, dude, I would have hardly had to do any editing. It was just smack, 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 smack. Oh, there's a fish eating out there though. Just heard a big old bass smacking out there. All right, I'm gonna go home. Retire, re rig, might come back down here later. All right, guys, back at the house now. I hope you enjoyed that short fishing trip. I'm glad I was able to catch a fish for you. Even missed a couple. Can't win them all. That's a bummer. I'll get them next time. Lost my swim jig, though. Biggest bummer of the trip. So I think I'm going to see if I can talk wifey and let me make a bait run to town. Stay tuned, man. We're going to keep it rocking and rolling. This day isn't anywhere near over yet. Woo! You ready to go? Yeah. It's bait time. Where are we going? Bait shop, bait shop, and world market. Yeah. World market. I'm grabbing Let's go. All right, coming at you live and direct in full effect from the F-150. Uh, yeah, going to town right now, making the journey. We live out in the sticks, so we gotta go. We gotta go to town, you know what I'm talking about. So, the drive is pretty sketchy, so I'm gonna put the camera down, start focusing on the road. Drive's awesome. It's awesome, but it's sketchy if you're holding the camera and trying to look at the, you know, trying to, Core is shit. No, you don't gotta hold the camera, babe. Me and wifey headed to town, rolling the F-150 to get bait. She doesn't know what she's doing. I know what I'm doing. I'm on a mission. I want quarter ounce and three eighth ounce swim jigs in two different colors. And then I also need 3.8 Kitek fat swims. So that's what we're going for. That's that's my juice today. And then uh, what else do we need? Uh, we need braid. So here we go, man. We made it to Academy. I just gotta run in here and grab some braid. Let's go inside. Come, come, come. I'm coming. Man, it's super crowded in here. Must be some kind of sale going on. Hot deals, they got all the hot deals. And there's like people lined up at every register. I don't know what's going on, but I'm about to find out. I got a homie that works here. Maybe it's just Christmas season? She is. That's what I'm after. Let's go check out the swim jig. That one is awfully gone. This one looks 
reminds me a little bit of the color of um yeah but see that's the thing watermelon candy yeah but the, the thing is they're eating these yeah and, and they're chasing yeah. bait fish yeah when I'm doing oh i guess then this one is like well gotten into too I got a buddy that works here, a good friend of mine, trying to find that fool. He's nowhere to be found. You walk around the store with a camera, people look at you like you're crazy. Wifey spotted these, we can grab them. Why not? No context though, so on to another spot. Hey, how are you doing? Christmas season in full effect right now. People everywhere. We're walking around with a camera. We don't care. This is what you have to do, man. You have to be willing to look like an idiot if you want to get the <laughs> shot. Man, we're getting some strange looks in there. So funny. Let's go, babe. Let's get out of here. And the dry seasonings, and you can order them dry and just eat that shit. Gotcha. Yeah, and, and dip them in ranch and blue cheese. All that's keto friendly. You Got can still it. have fried wings. I still think you have the best wings. Oh, hell yeah. I make some good wings at home in the smoker, but there's something about some fried wings that's just, mmm. Try to find a good spot to park. You always gotta find that honey hole, man. You can't just be parking somewhere. You can't just be parking somewhere, dude. You gotta find the honey hole, bruh. All right, let's go. Spot number two, we're here. It's the only color they have right there. Might have to grab some rage swims. What's up, brother? Eat it, man. Eat it, man. Good. The only one I fished is the bug, but I caught a couple on it. Oh, wow. Yeah. Man. That was the, the Bama. I don't think you had the Bama bug color. I don't know I if that's right. Yeah. On the, the bend even? Yeah, right there, bro. Yeah, yeah. They're doing all right. I've gotten out to fishing yet. Yeah, I just caught a couple on it, man. Nice. But lately, they've been hitting the swim jig, dude. Want to check me out on YouTube, bro? Yeah, what's your channel? Justin man? the Apparition, dude. Justin the Apparition. Yeah, I'll I, I do some fishing on there, man. We catch some bass. So awesome, dude. hit it up, dude. Yeah. Later, man. Good to meet you, brother. Lady just coughed on me. <laughs> Rude. All right, let's get out of here. All right, guys, back at home now, out here in the garage, and I'm gonna show you guys all the baits that I picked up today and just let you guys take a close-up look at everything. I'm gonna start with Academy. Zoom Salty Super Flute. This is a color that we hadn't seen there before. Midnight Chartreuse. Caught Wifey's eye, she was like, hey, why not, man? Three dollars. Snag a pack of them. Fifty pound super slick power pro. I needed another spool of this braid. I'm gonna use this to re-spool the reel that I was using earlier. Also grab some swim jigs. Quarter ounce swim jigs. This is what we've been hammering them on lately. I lost this one this morning. This is one that Nick's been using and having a lot of luck on. So here's a look at the swim jigs. Also got a 3 8 ounce in that same color, a little bit heavier. And then I got one of these. This is a Hack Attack Heavy Cover Swim Jig. I accidentally picked it up and then once I noticed that it wasn't just a regular swim jig, I started to put it back and then I was like, wait a minute, heavy cover. I throw my swim jigs through a lot of heavy cover sometimes and then I realized it's made with a Gamakatsu hook for 50 cents extra. 
I'll take it. The Hack Attack Heavy Cover Swim Jig with the Gamakatsu. And that was it from Academy. Total was $44.21, mainly because of the braid. If you take the braid out of that equation, which is $20, then it was like 24 bucks. Four Swim Jigs, multiple weights, multiple colors, and a pack of Zoom Salty Super Flukes for $24. Moving on, these are awesome. So over at Dick's, some people don't shop at Dick's for certain reasons. They're one of the only places I have to go to around here and they have better deals than, than some of the other places in town. So I still go there, I don't care. I'm just looking for fishing gear. I got some more quarter ounce swim jigs. Two more quarter ounce swim jigs, same colors. They were about a dollar something cheaper. So grab a couple more, we'll probably lose one or two. So next I grabbed some more 3.8 Kitex. Isn't the color I wanted, just, just another bait fish type color, 3.8. So I'll run these on, on the, as the trailers on these quarter ounce swim jigs, and that'll be the juice right there. Also got some three and three quarter rage swimmers. This is the sexy shad color. The official color on these uh, smallmouth magic. That's what it says. And then I also got these uh, 4.3 inch Kitex because I really like this color and I can trim these down. I can leave these whole and use them on a big swim jig or I can trim them down and use them as a trailer on some of the smaller swim jigs. So I went ahead and grabbed these as well. Now, had I not had a $20 gift card, they sent me a $20 gift card in the mail for free, 20 bucks, whatever. It would have been uh, 28 62 But with that $20 off, it was $8.62 for three packs of trailers and two quarter ounce swim jigs. <clears throat> That's a deal right there. Eight bucks for all that, especially Kitex. These aren't cheap, these are $7.99 a pack where I live, $7.99. These were like $6.99 or $7.99. To me, the Rage Swim just doesn't have the same action as the Kitex. I prefer the 3.8 inch Kitex. And even then I bite the nose off of it, so it's a little bit shorter. But that's it, man. That's everything I got. I really hope you guys enjoyed today's video, man. There was a lot of content, much better than yesterday. But I think this is gonna be the time we need to go ahead and wrap it on up because it's getting pretty long. So I'm gonna go ahead and say goodbye right here. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you taking time out of your day to watch one of my videos. Smash that thumbs up button. Subscribe so you don't miss any future content. If this is your first V-Dug video, go down below in that description, click that video playlist, go back and get caught up. 14 videos leading up to this one. Lots of content, lots of stuff to see. So go back and watch those. And yeah, man, that's gonna be it for today. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Peace.